Hello everyone and welcome to the second assignment. First of all, thank you very much for your great engagement in the previous phase. I hope you enjoyed working on the first assignment and became even more interested in the psychology of negotiations on comments. You were asked to look at a multitude of comments projects and identify resources that can be used in these projects. You also came up with many ideas how these resources are related to people's interests, motives and needs. In the second phase of this course, you will experience different psychological processes that play a fundamental role when people interact with each other in their comments projects. A very basic psychological experience in this context is the impact of our social motivation. Social motivation is an important factor when people start to work together in order to create or maintain shared resources. Specifically, people may not only experience a social conflict with others, but also a psychological conflict within themselves. We are torn between two motives when handling shared resources. On the one hand, we have a pro-social motive to cooperate with others to create and maintain commons. But on the other hand, we also have a selfish motive to satisfy our egoistic concerns and needs. I'll give you an example. Have you ever been tempted to use public transportation without buying a ticket, even though public transportation is dependent from these revenues for maintenance? Or how about when you decide between walking or riding your bike to the supermarket instead of using a car? In both examples, this internal conflict is rooted in the struggle between our pro-social motives to preserve shared resources, such as public transportation or our environment, and the egoistic motive to save money or drive to the supermarket in a convenient way. In the second assignment, you will experience psychological conflicts on a very basic level. First, you are asked to participate in a classical psychological task from academic research, the so-called social dilemma games. There are many different types of social dilemma games and, as you will see, some of these games focus on the distribution of shared resources, while others concentrate on the contribution of individual resources to commons. At first sight, these games, with their very basic rules, don't seem to be strongly related to real-world commands. However, you will soon see that these dilemma games are strongly linked to our psychological experiences and behaviors. We feel very similar psychological conflicts between cooperation and egoism within ourselves when creating and maintaining comments. Keeping this interpersonal psychological conflict in mind, I want you to think about the Commons project from your first assignment and ask yourself the following questions. First, imagine yourself as one of the actors from your project. What conditions would be necessary for you to cooperate in the creation and maintenance of Commons? Under which conditions would you not be willing to cooperate? Are there any conditions under which you would have acted in an egoistic way, using comments for selfish reasons? And second, in your opinion, how important is communication between actors participating in your project? Do you think that communication can help to create and maintain comments? How can communication help actors to solve their conflicting interests and how can you force the trust between the actors? In assignment 2, you will play different social dilemma games and you will gain first experiences in intrapersonal and interpersonal conflicts on comments. As communication has proved to impact our behaviors in social dilemma games, you will play the provided social dilemma games with and without communication. I am very curious to read about your personal experiences, especially how the process of communication changed your own and your teammates' cooperation and egoism. On a last note, we are aware of the fact that social dilemma games can never reflect the complexity and the transition of real-world comments. Thus, the purpose of the second assignment is not to simulate real-world comments in some kind of gaming task, but instead 
The second assignment aims at the experience of some very fundamental psychological processes which do even occur in these minimalistic games and thus will most likely affect our behaviors and even stronger in real-world social conflicts on commons. Therefore, it is very important that you think about your psychological experiences when you interact with your teammates in the provided social dilemma games. With your focus on psychological processes, I am quite sure that you enjoy assignment 2 and you will certainly gain interesting insights in psychological processes, both within your team and within yourself.